May 3rd, Wolverines opening up a three-game series with Iowa at the Wilpont Complex. Top of the first, bases loaded with Hawkeyes. Taylor Kaufman with the liner to left. Zach Zott can't come up with it. U of M actually gets a force out at third on the play, but a run scores. 1-0, Iowa. Bottom of the first, Michigan answers back. Jacob Cronenworth with the single to right, drives in Patrick Biondi, his 30th RBI of the year. We were tied at one. Then with runners at the corners and two out, Cronenworth takes off for second. The Hawkeye catcher throws down to third, trying to get Michael O'Neill, and it goes into left field. O'Neill and Cronenworth would come around to score. Three to one, U of M. It was a that was a big inning right there, the three spot to kind of set the tone. That proved to be a, a big part of the game. Um, you know, just trying to get guys in motion with two strikes to see if we can steal a run there. And fortunately for us, the uh, the big error happened, scored two runs on one error, which you know usually you don't see. But that was uh, that was, it turned out to be a pretty big play. Wolverines get another one in the third. Travis Mays is at the plate in the Ann Arbor native with his team leading third home run of the year over the right field fence, four to one Michigan. It was a quick inning so far. Um, I think we made uh, two outs on two pitches. So I was just trying to go in the box and uh, I was just trying to make the pitcher work a little bit. And then he made a mistake up and I put a good swing on it. Trent Skutnik would settle down on the hill after a shaky first, putting up goose eggs in the second, third, fourth, and fifth. He went five and two thirds innings pitched, allowing just one earned run walking three and striking out six. He has those moments where uh, things get a, a, seem like they get a little bit uh, hectic out there. And, uh, uh, but he, he calmed it down a little bit and uh, you know he settled things down nicely. So that was good. Credit to him for doing that. The Hawkeyes would make a comeback bid though, down 5-1 in the sixth. Anthony Torres with the single up the middle. Trevor Kenyon comes in to score and it was 5-2. Then in the seventh inning, James Burke on in relief for Michigan, two on for Jake Yasinich. He doubles down the line and left. Both runners would come around to score and it was 5-4. Matt Ogden then comes on in relief of Burke. Taylor Kaufman singles off him to left. Zach Zott comes up firing and Yasinich is meat at home plate to keep it a 5-4 ball game. Wolverines trying for an insurance run in the bottom of the inning. Mazes making a bid for a second home run of the night, but Chris Goodman climbs the wall and brings it back, robbing Mazes of his fourth home run of the year. Ogden would stay in for U of M and work a 1-2-3 eighth inning, but the sophomore ran into trouble in the ninth, putting the tying runner at third and the go-ahead runner at second but he bears down and whiffs Trevor Kenyon to end the threat and picks up his second save of the year as the Maze of Blue win 5-4. to four. He was going to get the job done, and he knew he was going to get the job done, and the defense and the dugout knew too. So uh, it was great to see him shine in that moment because we needed him to do that. And uh, We've got a couple of guys banged up in the pitching staff, so uh, for him to, uh, to shut that down, that was great. This is what you live for. This is what you want to... Pitching, the fish was almost full today. That's what we want, let's, let's keep that going. Michigan has now won eight straight games at the Wilpon Complex. They'll go for nine in a row when they play Iowa on Saturday at 4.05. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Anthony Palladano.